Good morning guys. As you can tell by the title, I am finishing my book in one day. This is the video of me finishing my book in one day. Um, some of you, if you've been watching my last uh, few videos, I guess, you might be wondering, well, what book? Um, well, I had originally planned on um, turning my first book, Sparks and Shadows, into a series. <clears throat> However, for a host of reasons and after giving it some thought and getting knee deep into writing the sequel to Sparks and Shadows, I decided just to take the chapters that I had already written for the sequel and uh, kind of revamp my idea for Sparks and Shadows and extend the storyline a little bit and also tie up some loose ends. And I really like the way that it has turned out so far and that it is shaping up in my mind. So um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I'm just putting some of those ideas um, into the story now. I've done a lot of work on the story. So it is very, it's very much the same, but it is very different as well. Um, so I'm going to finish my book today. Um, at most, I think I've got 4,000 words left to write. I'm working on like the last two and a half chapters. Um, so yeah, I am going to go ahead and get into that. I'm going to show you uh, what I'm going to be working on today and how I've been organizing my ideas uh, over the past couple weeks and um, yeah, how I'm going to put them into uh, a finished product that I'm so proud of and so excited uh, to put out um, at the beginning of February. So I'm doing a re-release, um, Sparks and Shadows Extended Edition. I did a whole new book cover, which I'll show you as well. And yeah, let's just get into it. So I've been writing some scenes here and there um, over the past few couple weeks. Um, past few days um, and that is the total right there so this is scenes from two chapters and like I said I've got to um, finish two and a half chapters um, to finish the book so I've got some major scenes left to write but there's not so much left because I've been chipping away at it working on it so um, I've got like one big thing left to do and then everything's just like the falling action resolution type stuff so yeah um let me show you my notion real quick okay so this is my notion for my novels <clears throat> i've got like a main page for my novels and then every a uh, novel that I'm currently working on or thinking about working on. Um, it's got a little page, like anything I'm putting plans into at the moment. It's got a page. Um, eventually, I, all of my novels will have a page, or I've been kicking around the idea of doing some short stories too. And so I'll create a different section for those. But Sparks and Shadows, I've got the summary over here. And then I use these little toggles down here to um, plot each chapter individually. So I did Already Happened, and then I um, plotted out in detail the last four chapters of the book. So that's been really helping me stay on track and remember things that I want to add in. And it's really been helping me like not get blocked and frustrated when I write, just having okay, I know I need to write this, I know I need to write that, and this comes next, and that's in this chapter, not that chapter. Um, so, yeah, and also under here, I can't uh, scroll down and show you because it's spoilery, but it's just a to-do list of things that, you know, need to be added in. So just little extra things that I thought about as I was reading through the chapter, I was like, oh, I forgot to talk about this or that so I've been crossing those off I've got about three more things to add and then like I said I'm working on these chapters and then like a little bitty piece of that one um so that's what I'm doing today so let's go ahead and get started 
So my first order of business is just to transfer all my scenes um, from that Google document I showed you to my actual manuscript um, that I'm writing in Word. And um, that's where we are so far. I transferred the first um, long scene, which is the end of chapter 30. Um, so I've just got 31 and 32 left to write. I've got pieces of 31, like lots of pieces of 31 and a little bit of 32 already written. So I'm just filling out those chapters with the important details. Um, but I have been watching, um, re-watching The Witcher and I'm in the middle of season two, which I like so much better than season one, by the way. Season one was great which is why I'm watching season two, but uh, season two is so much better. So what I'm gonna do is like just have that going in the background while I'm uh, working, while I'm, uh, at least while I'm transferring these scenes. I don't know if I'll be able to have it on and concentrate while I'm actually writing, but while I'm transferring these scenes, definitely. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so it has been about an hour and a half. I finished episode four of The Witcher and my goal was to have um, all the scenes transferred and patched. I'm saying patched um, because I had to write with little lines of dialogue or um, a paragraph here or there of transition to kind of make the scenes uh, fit together. So uh, my goal was to have them all transferred and patched into um, the main manuscript um, before the end of the episode, and I did that. And now I am working, so the little half chapter I had to write is finished, and now I am working on one of the two full chapters I had to write. I'm in like a really interesting part. It kind of just came to me uh, to include this, and so I'm going to basically the uh, world I've built is ruled by four deities, and so my main character is about to have a conversation with those deities, and so I think this will be really interesting and fun, so I'm glad that, you know, this idea came to me and I'm excited to include it, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get back to it. Um, then I'm writing like a big fight scene, which I hate writing fight scenes, but um, it there's no way around it. <laughs> so um, there are a few fight scenes in this book, and so I think every time I do it, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with it. It's just hard because everything moves kind of fast paced, and you know it's hard to like slow it down and describe things that are happening. So if there's anything I struggle with writing, it's fight scenes, but. Yeah, we're gonna get through it. So, I'm gonna get back to writing, and I will check in with you guys when I've hit another progress milestone. Uh, just for reference, word count now, we are at 24,400, so that's where we are. Okay, so it is around 2 p.m., 
I took a little break to go pick up my grocery app order at Walmart and to go get some food and I'm about to get back into writing right before I left though I finished the chapter I've been working on all morning so all I have left is my little like epilogue -y chapter at the end and I don't have that much more to do on that I'm estimating maybe about 500 more words or so but I wanted to show you before I forgot my new cover that I designed because I'm so excited about it. I like it so much better than the old one I had. Um, I designed this myself using uh, Procreate and um, I did the lettering on PixArt and I just like it uh, so much. Like I just, I still can't believe like that I did it. Um, it's so it fits the vibe of the book so much better than the other one that I had and so yeah I'm proud of it and I can't wait to um finish the book so I can put it out and have the cover out and just so you guys can check it out and read it so like I said just writing a little epilogue chapter now um maybe like another hour or so on it and I will be finished Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it, I am done, I am finished, final draft, completely done and finished, January 29th, 2022, at 3.11pm, I am done, it is finished, I am, I can't even believe it right now, so that's gonna conclude this video, I am just so excited, to publish this. I'm planning on um, publishing it. Uh, it should go live on February 1st, 2022. So that will be the publication date for my very first fantasy YA romance novel, um, Sparks and Shadows. So yay. <laughs> um, don't forget to like this video if you liked it, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you want to see from me in the future and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching this whole video if you got to this point and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. So it's actually the next day, but I decided I needed a little reward to congratulate myself for finishing um, my novel. So I remembered I had these frozen strawberries. They were going bad, not strawberries, bananas. They were going bad a couple weeks ago, and so I cut them up and froze them in the freezer. And I'd seen uh, somewhere on YouTube someone made some nice cream. So it's like it's supposed to be ice cream, but without the dairy. So I decided to try this out. So I put these in uh, the blender, and then I had these blueberries that were going to go bad soon. So I just added them in, you know, after the fact. And I know this looks gross, but it is so good. Like, it's so sweet, and it's just delicious. And it really does, like, have the consistency of ice cream. So I would definitely try this out. It was so simple and quick. Um, and, yeah, I'll definitely be making this again.